What's up guys, it's Major from Ada's Dream, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about how to calculate for the proper wax and fragrance oil for your candles. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys, it's Major from Ada's Dream, and we're back again, and today we're gonna to be discussing one of the hot topics, the math behind having enough candle wax and how to determine your fragrance oils for your candles. And I got some charts here. I know you guys can't really see them. So I'm going to put them at the link description down at the bottom. But before we get started, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the channel so I can keep bringing you awesome content. Calculations to make candles. For this topic, we're going to be talking about two sizes of candles, the 14 ounce jars and a nine ounce jar. And I want to go over what each thing means that we're going to be discussing today. Net weight, net weight. For the net weight, you can always find out the net weight from wherever you get your jars from in the description. Your net weight will be very important to determine your jar fill line. That is going to be the absolute fill line you don't want to go past when you're making your candles. G, unit of measurement. And FL, your fragrance load. FL, your fragrance load. G is for your unit measurement, such as grams. FO, your fragrance oil. FO, fragrance oil. And it's just that simple, guys. These are going to be the basic acronyms we're going to be using today for me to teach you. Okay, for your exact calculations, let's start with our nine ounce jar and determining how much wax you need for your candle. For the nine ounce jar, it's going to be your net weight divided by 100% plus your FL. What does FL stand for again? FL is our fragrance low. Remember, we're doing this for a nine ounce jar. Okay, for a nine ounce jar, what you do is you subtract at least two from however many ounces your jar is. So for the nine ounce, minus two is seven ounce, and that's how you determine your fill line, no matter what it is. If it's an 18 ounce jar, your fill line is going to be 16. If it's a 12 ounce jar, your fill line is going to be 10 ounces. Okay, for the nine ounce jar that we're calculating, stay with me, it would be your net weight equals seven ounces, which is what? Your fill line. Net weight equals seven ounces, which is your fill line. Your total ounces for the jar is nine ounces. So once we calculate the, the proper amount of grams per seven ounces is 198 grams. For seven ounces is 198 grams. And what you can do, you can use your cell phone, your tablet, or your laptop, and you could just go to Google and you could type in ounces to grams, and it will bring up a calculator that you can use and it'll give you the exact amount of grams per how many ounces you have. Okay, so if our net weight we have already determined is seven ounces, which equals 198 grams, dot divided by 100% plus the FL percentage, which is your fill line. 198 divided by 100% plus 6%, which will be your fill line. So 198 grams divided by 106% equals what? 186 grams. 186 grams is your total wax amount. It's that easy. And you just calculated how much wax you need per candles. So you, however amount of candles that you're making, you're just going to multiply that times however many. So 186, you might be making 10 candles. You multiply that times 10. I know what you're thinking, but how do I determine what the fragrance oil is now? Okay, let's talk about that. Fragrance oil, net weight minus your wax amount equals your fragrance oil amount. Net weight 
minus your wax amount equals your fragrance oil amount. So for your nine ounce jar, 198 grams minus 186 grams equals 12 grams. So 12 grams is what? Your fragrance oil amount. And remember, net weight minus your wax amount equals your fragrance oil amount. And what was our net weight? Our net weight was 198 grams, which we got from seven ounces. And our wax amount was 186, which is what we determined in the end for our wax amount. We took the 198 grams minus 186 grams, and it got us 12 grams. 12 grams equals your fragrance oil amount. Okay, now that's for a nine ounce jar. We have done the calculations. Let's do another one. All right, for a 14 ounce jar, which are these jars you see right in front of you, 14 ounce jar, what would be our fill line? Remember, you're supposed to subtract two. 14 minus two equals 12. So net weight equals a 12 ounce fill line. Net weight equals a 12 ounce fill line. So for 340 grams divided by 100% plus the FL, which is the fill line percentage. So 340 grams divided by 100% plus 10%, which is our fill line. So 340 grams Plus, divided by 100 plus 10% equals 110%, which will equal 310 grams for our wax. Let's go over it again. 340 grams divided by 100% plus our field line percentage. 340 grams divided by 100% plus 10%, which was our field line. 340 grams divided by 100 plus 10% equals 110%. So 310 grams will equal our wax amount. For the fragrance oil, net weight minus wax amount equals your fragrance oil amount. Net weight minus wax amount equals your fragrance oil amount. So for a 14 ounce jar, 340 grams minus 310 grams equals 30 grams. 30 grams is your fragrance oil amount. So 30 grams, if you want to use a calculator for ounces, 30 grams equals one ounce. So for the 12 ounce jar, I'm only using one ounce of fragrance oil per candle. This is Major from A to Dream. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. You have any more questions, put them down there in the comment box. And I'm going to be here for you and your candle business, and we're going to work together. See you later.